Explorers, this is Jessica with Exploring the Local Life. Now some of you have asked, how do we school the children? Well, we do something that's a road schooling, unschooling combo. And today we're gonna to take you on one of our unschooling trips. We are going to take an off hike hike. <laughs> so this is the campground we are host, campground host at, and we're gonna be going here from the beach house. Is that correct, Robert? No, just up. Excuse yes, me? Yes, basically, yes. We're gonna be parking here, and then we're gonna be walking along the coast here. Antioch Lake West. And we're going to see what we find along our route and we're going to talk about it. So it's going to be a science and nature type of unschooling day. So come along and join us. Yes, this is a road. However, there's like nobody on it. So our children do no proper uh, etiquette on roads. However, since nobody ever drives on here, we're pretty free with them on it. Being campground hosts and just awesome lovers of nature, we also bring a garbage bag and gloves so that we may pick up garbage we find along the way. Nice football. RV sewer cap, anyone? Mm. Yeah. All right, fellow RVers, good job. Nice, delicious. Delicious. <laughs> So what are your, what are you I thinking? I think it's a cocoon wrapped around it. Any ideas what kind of cocoon? Cocoon, nice. Cocoon? Butterfly. Or Butterfly or moth, okay. Those are which ones I think. Because it, kind of, because it has a butterfly or moth pattern. Yeah, it did, well, didn't it's it? Defi it's definitely not a butterfly. The butterfly ones are usually green. Everyone ready for the tortoise holes? Tortoise, tortoise holes. Tortoise. What kind? Tortoise. 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 And then there's another one right here behind me. No one at home. No oh. one's home. There's also one. Now, how did you know this was a gopher tortoise? Because it's a hole. What do you mean? Because it's a hole. Oh. Fever! Evidence! Oh. How do I get over the... Okay. My pants are too tight! I'm not gonna make it. Last time? I think I may have discussed it. But the fever may have felt it, but then it was a little bit too hard to drag it into the water. Because it's still connected to the sun. Maybe the beaver's still working it? So we see over here that they did take this one down. Okay, so we think that uh, this pond here was formed with the beaver dam that we're coming up on. That we were able to block off some of the water from the main lake to create this pond. What, Daniel? Can you... So there are three beaver dams, we're walking on one? that the ends are all chewed up and stacked. So 
also some encouraging news is that as we've gotten deeper and deeper into the woods, there has been less and less trash, which is great. So that means people aren't just randomly chucking garbage into the woods, which is really uh, unfortunate. It does happen places, but it's not happening here at this uh, state park. Lots of vines right through here. Oh, look, berries. Nope, no, nope, we don't grab berries we don't know anything about. Oops, wrong way. Whoa. Don't fall in the hole, Nod. Oh, you're talking about the, water, the hole with the ground or that hole here like this? This hole looks hurt. It says it passes way down to the water probably. That feels hollow. There's a hole right there. Yeah, the ground we're, uh, the ground we're on is uh, riven with burrows. <laughs> and then we have the pile of sticks over here pointing to a beaver lodge. So I'm thinking we have a combination of uh, access ports. And that part over there is fallen probably a beaver lodge before. Shaking. Hello. <laughs> We're on hollowed ground. What did you guys find? Turtle shell. The exterior of the shell. Turn it around to each show the camera. The inside again. Wow. This is the vertebra, the backbone. Yeah. Yeah. And this is part of it. Maybe here. Yeah. Like yeah, because they're actually yeah, tied right to there. sticks. For me. What am I holding? Daddy, it was wet. I don't think that can hold your weight. It can't. Wait. Try in the middle. Try in the middle. No, in the middle is where it's going to snap. We also have evidence of deer crossing right here in the mud. Mm -hmm. Nadia, stop. Look at the deer, deer prints. Uh -huh. prints. That's cool. After this, I take the. We'll do a quick check when we get home. Okay, so we are going to be heading back to our RV, to the campsite. And uh, who knows, we may watch some uh, videos on beavers or uh, mushrooms. mushrooms or I don't know. Kind of depends on what we end up uh, getting interested in after our hike here. We'll have more discussions. And that pretty much is how we do school on the road. Um, we do it very hands-on, very loose, and definitely based on the kids' interests. And so far it is going well, and if we need to, we'll change up as needed. And right now it goes well, so as long as they're continuing to increase in knowledge and excited to learn, then we're going to keep going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, leave comments, and ask any questions you may have about RV life. And... Ones, which we think are coyotes. Wait, what? We think coyote. We found coyote. Coyote. We think coyote. Maybe a lynx or a coyote. I think lynx or a raccoon. So why? Why? What makes us think that, guys? Well, it's not raccoon because raccoons have little hands. And yeah, they have like longer fingers. Dog-like prints. And how do we know they're not dogs? We haven't seen any dogs. True. And dogs um, would come around. Dogs are not afraid of people. They'd be around the campground all the time. And those are incredible. Now there's a boot print here, so it's messing with everything. <laughs> right, but then there's that one. Oh yeah. Cool. Morning when I drove to work, I couldn't tell what it was. And learning continues. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye.